Kia ora team, Chris Fahey here, hope you're going awesome. So off the back of the Catalina Bay vlog, I figured I'd head out to another one of the big development nodes around the region, being Long Bay. So that said, let's get into it. Long Bay is one of the biggest master plan communities located in Auckland. It involves 162 hectares of land alongside the Long Bay Regional Park on the North Shore. The scheme was originally started by Todd Property Group in 2003, with the development getting momentum after around 2014. During 2019, Todd Property Group sold the development land and assets to Templeton Group to continue the development. There's been a pretty wide range of housing made available over time, including sections for sale, a wide range of completed housing, and even lifestyle blocks. The Long Bay Village is the town centre, and it comprises a pretty wide range of commercial uses, including different types of retail, like a supermarket, cafes, restaurant, bars, medical, and gym, plus some small offices. There's also a market that operates from the area. Right now there's three higher intensity housing projects which are Elementum, Kahu and Lightbox. Elementum will use the land opposite the town centre for development of nine three-storey buildings totaling 105 apartments and 15 terraced homes. Kahu is a group of 42 terraced homes which are located across from Elementum and then finally Lightbox is a group of terraced homes being developed further up the hill alongside Ridge Park. All right team, so just hit up the little local cafe down at Long Bay Village. Super nice coffee, highly recommend. So first off, if you've ever been to Long Bay Village, hit that like button, but then drop a comment below and just tell us some thoughts about the area. Like what, what did you kind of feel when you're down here? How'd you like it? Um, so get that conversation going. So the trip up here was all good. Took me maybe 20 minutes drive on a Saturday morning. Um, so super fast. Now turning attention to the apartment product, I think there will be a real interesting group of buyers for these. I could see a large group of like empty nester slash downsizers uh, being attracted to the area, the amenity, it's quite modern, um, nice feel to it. So I could see that group, could see a lot of like first home buyers looking at this area and saying actually for raising a family and all the rest of it the walking tracks, the beach, and all of that would provide a really nice um, area to grow up in. So I think those apartments will do well. And you can see from some of the existing projects that they're obviously already an accepted form of product up here, um, despite it obviously being a reasonable distance from the city. And so final comment is perceptions around subdivisions. So if you talk to a lot of New Zealanders, they'll look at new, new sort of development areas, so new subdivisions, and they'll say cookie cutter and they'll have a big shitty about oh, all the homes look the same blah 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 now i think there's actually two different stories here right the first story is the cookie cutter homes and subdivisions from the 1990s where they've gone through at that time and basically all of the homes look reasonably similar brick and tile but within that they've also allowed people to kind of do whatever they want and so as you drive around, although the homes look pretty similar, there's also a lot of variety, which means that it doesn't really have a single look to it. Um, it just looks like a whole bunch of random, similar looking houses. But then on the flip side, you've got areas like Long Bay, Hobsonville, and some of the big master plan communities around the region where the developers have put design controls across the whole area. And what that does is it allows them to instill a very cohesive look and feel across the area, uh, which then I think translates to a much nicer sense of place. So some people will say, oh, the design controls are a little bit complicated if they want to build a home and they just want to do whatever they want. But I mean, that's the whole purpose of it, right, is to make sure that as the homes are developed and as your neighbors build their house, that what they're doing kind of fits in with the neighborhood and they don't just go crazy and start doing weird stuff. So yeah, overall really nice vibe down here and I like that aspect of it. So that said, we'll wrap up the vlog here. From here, I'm gonna shoot down to the beach, get a little bit of extra footage to get that beach vibe into the vlog. 
then drive home and I think today is Life Admin Day. So kind of looking forward to that, just a nice relaxed day. So with that said, we'll see you later. Bye.